What do you think? Can I work on you today? Do you want me to work on you? Okay. So I'm going to do a little work on Nugget. First thing I'm going to do is this atlas. Got it. Let's see how she likes that. You can see her left side of her face, her lip is a little droopy there because that's where she has some... Her jaw is misaligned actually yeah. because um, from the break it was never set appropriately. We got her after it had already healed. Mm -hmm. And look how that relaxes her when I set that atlas. And I'm going to just let her enjoy the space for a minute. RS was founded in 2007 by my partner Christina Chavis um, and we have been in the rescue business ever since. Animal Rescue R Us is an organization that really doesn't turn away dogs. If we're able to help, we will. We take a lot of special needs. We take seniors. We take nursing moms. We take families um, and we really try not to say no if we don't have to. So if someone wanted to make a monetary donation, they can go to our website and there is a secure link there. Nugget was rescued by a woman named Stacy Jordan out of Southern Paws Rescue out of Alabama. Stacy got a call stating that a puppy was severely injured in an abusive home. With backup from local authorities, Stacy and the task force entered the owner's home and forced him to surrender Nugget. The original owner was a meth addict and he had beaten Nugget nearly to death. Stacy drove Nugget all the way to New Jersey and handed her off to Jennifer and Christina because they specialize in rescues with extreme medical challenges. A vet examined Nugget on her arrival and it was confirmed that Nugget has brain damage, the left eye is blind, and the left jaw was broken from the beatings. The vet also said that Nugget did not have to be euthanized because Nugget is currently not in pain and she is enjoying life and can give and receive love. Jennifer decided to keep Nugget. I got to work on Nugget one week after her arrival in New Jersey. I fell in love at first sight. All right, so guess who we have today? We have Nugget. Nugget going up in the air. Let those legs hang, Nugget. Oh. Hi, Nugget. So we got Nugget today. We're back, this is Jennifer. You've seen the videos, I think, is this the seventh Nugget installment? Yep, seventh Nugget. So this is part nugget. seven, and how old is Nugget now? Nugget is eight months old. Eight months. Mm -hmm. And I'm sure she's a lot bigger than the last time you saw her. Oh my her. God, she's heavy and muscular. I wish I had a physique like you. Big muscular physique. <laughs> All right, let's let you run around while we talk for a second, okay? All right, so let's back up on Jennifer. So give us an update on, on Nugget's health, Nugget's uh, symptoms, things like that. And then uh, we'll talk a little bit about wheelchair. We're going to talk a little bit about swimming pools. Yes. So, so start with health and symptoms and updates. Okay, so Nugget is doing really, really well health-wise. Um, you know, in my previous videos with you, we've talked about how she was kind of spitting up. We saw some vomiting, the dug tug, um, and it's all working because Nugget is not vomiting anymore, and she is also off the Pepsid, so she's off medication. So Good. that's huge. So that's a big that's a big plus. You know, we haven't fixed every part of Nugget. And we're gonna talk about that a little bit today too, because you know, it's not simply that Nugget just needs one more left arm adjustment and then she won't fall over. It's beyond that, it's brain, it's central nervous system, it's peripheral nervous system, it's spinal cord. But Nugget was kicked in the brain or in the skull so severely it broke her left jaw, uh, it broke, uh, it blinded her left eye and it basically gave her brain damage. And as much as I would love to like fix everything like a miracle, that's not what real life is like. So you're looking for quality of life. And the cool thing about Nugget is that Nugget loves to live. Nugget is so excited about life. And that's, if you talk to any vet 
when they're making that decision for euthanizing, and we're not talking about that for Nugget, but just like a dog at the end of its life, they often say quality of life. Is it worth it? Is it worth prolonging this this dog's life or this horse's life at this point if they're in pain, if they don't have quality of life, etc. But that dog has a quality of life because she loves to live and she loves her family and she loves her other dogs and she's just a and she's just a happy, fun loving, happy, frolicky dog. And she loves to cuddle and she loves to be with the family. Hi my girl. Hello baby. And she loves Jennifer and that's the main thing. Hi my girl. So here we are and that's Nugget. And then Nugget also has now Nugget's excited right now, but Nugget also has TV and, and cuddling time where Nugget just falls asleep on Jennifer's lap. And actually what Nugget loves to do the most is she loves to play with her other dogs, like her other friends, my mm -hmm. other dogs. Um, Neutron is her best friend, which you guys haven't met yet, but he's awesome. Yeah. Um, and Nugget also loves to chew on her bones. So I also want to kind of jump in really quick and just yeah. thank um, Carla Livingston. She actually recently sent Nugget a Benna bone and it was amazing and she loved it. So thank you so much, Carla. We really appreciate it. <laughs> <laughs> and Nugget's back. <laughs> Nugget just jumped in my life. All right, Nugget. So um, speaking of supplies too, because people often leave comments about what you guys need. So tell us a little bit, um, tell us about your organization again, and also tell us, uh, you know, what people could donate uh, as far as either monetary donation or supplies. What, what mm -hmm. do you guys need? Who are you? Who is Animal Rescue R Us? Explain it to us. So Animal Rescue R Us is a small group of volunteers. Um, we're based in New Jersey. All of our dogs are fostered in private homes, so we don't have a kennel facility. Um, and, you know, it's an, an amazing, amazing organization. And I say that because we are not breed specific and we really help wherever we can. So we take families, we take seniors, we take medically involved dogs, we take emergency cases, um, we take dogs like Nugget, special needs, um, and we do our best and we find them homes. Um, and you know, it's really, really rewarding. Um, and that's really it. In terms of donations, um, we can always benefit obviously from monetary donations. We have a lot of big vet, vet bills uh, pretty frequently, um, but we also benefit from supplies. So things right now that we really need are uh, 36 inch crates, puppy play pens and carriers for when we do spay and neuter and for when we're transporting the dogs to the vet. Um, you know, and the other thing that's really cool is we get a lot of um, involvement on our Facebook page and our Instagram page. So if you check uh, Animal Rescue R Us, you can look it up and you can interact with us. Um, a lot of you have been emailing me about Nugget and just some of our other dogs. So what's your email? So it's a r r u s adopt at gmail dot com. And you actually answer. Yes. Yeah, so I answer every single email personally. You know why that's true? Because they don't have such a big staff. It's we don't. It falls on your shoulders. Yeah. So, but I love it. I love interacting with our supporters. Like you're your own personal assistant. <laughs> yes, right? I am. I am. I'm all in Jennifer one. Jennifer has a personal assistant. It's herself. <laughs> yes. Right. But I do respond to every single email. I love interacting with our supporters. If you've emailed me. You know that I respond. I usually respond not only with, you know, thank yous and just like, you know, expressing, uh, you know, thank yous for their kindness, but also I send video uh, pictures and videos of Nugget never before seen. So that is the benefit to emailing me and to interacting with our page. Okay. So if they email you directly, you'll also <laughs> let them know um, maybe what type of crate you need or things like that. Yes, absolutely. And they get a special behind the scene pictures of Nugget that no one else gets to see. Absolutely. All right, cool, cool. Hi, so let's, um, oh, we had that two other subjects. Um, one was um, how the wheelchair went and the other how the swimming pool went. Yes, so wheelchair not really going so well. Um, Nugget is actually a lot stronger than the last time we uh, videoed. And so she's actually walking a lot better outside of the wheelchair. So we've kind of let that go for now. We're always working on her strength and her endurance, um, but we're doing that without the support of a cart right now. Okay. And then what happens with uh, water therapy? So a lot of you have been recommending hydrotherapy and my feedback was that she wasn't quite ready because of her head stability. She's really not stable in the water. Um, but we did try it. We do have uh, some pictures of Nugget in her doggy life jacket. 
Um, and we do have some videos of her in the water, but it's not graceful. Uh, she's splashing around. The water makes her really nervous and I can't really position her in the way that I would need to in order for the water therapy to really be effective um, because she gets nervous if she doesn't see me. So rather than kind of having her at my side like I would with other dogs, for Nugget, I have to have her in front of me and her kind of like swimming with me. Um, but she's not stable, so I can't let her go either. Okay. Um, so that's, you know, some. so it's, it's a, I'm not going to say we're going to abandon it, but it's definitely a work in progress. Right. Um, and, and everybody has to trust Jennifer and her team. I mean, you know, Jennifer, this is not her first rodeo. You've been doing this for a while. Yeah. Uh, and also you've been working with medically challenged yes. animals for a while. So it's not like she just works with rescue and all these happy, healthy dogs. No, you get like the, the tough of the toughest. And so you've done water, successful water therapy before. And one of the fears is that Nugget's head will just suck up too much water and, and have an aspiration or water in the lungs, possible uh, injury or, or something worse. So you, you know, it's a, it, everything's a process. Every animal and human and horse, dog, anything is individual. It's an individual case. And um, it also seems as far as the wheelchair that Nugget really wants to try to be out of the wheelchair. So you have to kind of follow that, you know. And Nugget wants to be a strong, frolicking dog right now, not in a wheelchair. So we're, even though you've worked quite a bit with the wheelchair, we're kind of waiting to see how it unfolds. You know, and I've had that with my other dogs as well. Mm. Like Neutron, for example, he started off in a wheelchair and then he graduated to a sling and now he's walking. So, right. you know, if the goal is really to have them be independent. So if you can do that, then that's the direction that you want to go. Mm. Where wheelchairs really work is the dogs that are paralyzed or the dogs that really have like no control over their back end. In Nugget's case, it's just that her brain and her body don't really connect there's like some type of like misfiring there mm -hmm. so um you know her legs and her arm or her front paws and her back legs they don't really work together um and that's why you see like the wobbling the flopping you know that kind of walking right and brain injury you know uh, nugget has a, a, a definite brain injury uh so let's do um an adjustment on nugget right now can you call nugget over yep nuggy nug nug Oh, she, you know what? She's chewing on a stick. So let me actually get Nugget. All right. Okay. I'm going to take now, her. <laughs> yeah. So now she's wet and wiggly. My two favorite things. All right. Nice to see you. Just having you sit on my lap is nice. All right. I think you liked it when I had the beard in the first video, right? Ah. Ooh. Do you hear my... <laughs> just got punched in the face with your head. All right. So I'm going to first check your atlas. Whoa, 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 whoa. All right. Okay, let me look. You know, I always adjust her right atlas, but today it's the left dot side is wedged. And you usually don't see that, but I'm gonna go with what I feel. So usually I'm pulling the right atlas back into position or the right wing of the atlas where I pull, pull the edge down because of the closure of the space between the wing of the atlas and the base of the skull. And this time it's the left side, which I didn't expect to find, but it's what it is. So I'm going to do it, okay? What do you think? Can I work on you today? Do you want me to work on you? Okay. So I'm going to do a little work on Nugget. First thing I'm going to do is this Atlas. Got it. Let's see how she likes that. You can see her left side of her face, her lip is a little droopy there because that's where she has some... Her jaw is misaligned actually yeah. because um, from the break it was never set appropriately. We got her after it had already healed. Mm -hmm. And look how that relaxes her when I set that Atlas. And I'm going to just let her enjoy the space for a minute. And just let her be. So I did a big atlas adjustment. And it's very relaxing and calming to the nervous system. And floppy, floppy nugget just got to relax a little bit. And her 
central nervous system just did a downshift. Now once I start going, she's going to flop around again. But let's just enjoy this moment and give her some space to relax. I have to remember, I have to take a big breath. So everybody take a big breath in if you're watching. The nugget can feel my breath. My chest is rising into hers. Take a breath, nugget. Isn't this nice, though, to just see Nugget chill out for a minute? You saw how crazy she is. So this is just giving her a little tranquility that went in my mouth. Thank you, Nugget. Okay, let's look at your little jaw now. I'm on the left jaw, the temporomandibular joint. I'm also supporting the right one with my right thumb. I'm going to just traction this out a little bit. Doing her, her jaw. More pressure on the left and I'm pushing rostrally or towards, the, towards her snout or towards her lips. You're definitely on something because yeah. her tongue is like quivering a little bit. Yeah, I'm, I'm just going to hold it. i got to be patient. I mean, she... Normally doesn't give me a lot of time to work, but I'm on that jaw right now and I'm tractioning it, and trying to glide it into a better position. Ooh. I mean, can you believe how still she is? Look at her. So I'm, I'm doing it, I'm on it, I'm moving it, I'm gliding it. Let's all do another breath again. Take a breath. I know this is taking time, so those of you that need to fast forward, you can do that. It doesn't hurt my feelings. It might hurt Nugget's feelings, but not mine. I'm used to that. And I'm just holding her jaw. And I'm gliding it forward. I'm tractioning it. Now wiggling it back and forth. The left side's definitely locked. I know this is taking forever, but it takes forever. This is really the first time Nugget ever let me work on her jaw. I've tried, I've done these little micro 0.5 second adjustments on her jaw, but this is the first time she's letting me do some cranial work on her. Where I'm really trying to train in the background. I think I have a mosquito on my right forearm that I'd love to swat because <laughs> it's biting me. Right now I have a mosquito just sucking blood out of my right arm. Is it still there? Is there anything on my right arm? Uh, you're right. No, my right one. Oh, wrong arm. <laughs> you get some flies going on. Oh my god, I just want to swat at it. But how Dr. Can Doug's I... not used to this. He lives in the city. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a city boy. <laughs> Oh my god, Nugget, how long are we going to do this? She's being so cooperative right now. You don't even understand how <laughs> this is not usual. I got her wedged between my legs. Can you see that? Come down low and watch. Work, let the camera go from her feet on up. So get in a close-up on her feet. Do you see them between mine? And then pan up. And then there's us again. Hey. Nugget, what do you want me to do? You want me to do this for hours? So basically, I'm pushing the right jaw from lateral to medial, or from outside to inside. Then I'm pulling the left jaw down towards her snout. The direction is called rostral. R-O-S-T-R-A-L. Or rostrally. L-L-Y. And... This just might feel so good for her, I don't know. So I don't want to let go because um, she likes it. She's never let you do it before. This might be the longest video ever. Do you hear the train? Is that a, a commercial train freight or a train. freight train? Freight train. I cannot believe this. You may hear some howling in the background. Okay. <laughs>
What is her face doing? It's just sitting, actually, very relaxed. Is her eyes open? I see a little, like, quivering in her bottom lip, but her tongue did relax. All right, let's wait for this train to go by, which could be 10 minutes, right? <laughs> now it's quick. I'm putting more pressure on now, so I'm ending this. So I'm, I'm actually increasing the force. Is she still there? Yep. Come shoot from the top, straight down now, so you can really see her from that direction. And then come in close on her from straight in again. Oh. You know, I'm cramping. I don't even know how long I could do this nugget. She's like, thank goodness someone's finally doing this for me. All right, so now I'm going to try to do a little bit of a set and we'll end it and then she's going to go berserk. Ready? Got it. Ah, my arm cramped. <laughs> oh, okay, walk around a little bit. My arm. <laughs> oh. That's Nugget. That's Nugget's life. She did a shakeout. She, you, actually, I think that's the first shake I've we've never got. Really seen Nugget do a shakeout. Oh, man. She's peeing. She's so excited. I get like that myself. So, first I just contacted both TMJs, and TMJ stands for temporal, temporomandibular joint. The temporal bone is up here, the mandible is the jaw, and it's the joint where they articulate or touch each other. So I got in on this one, and I got in on this one, and then I started dragging with my fingertips and a tissue pull, where you pull the tissue and pull the bone at the same time. And my fingertips are gliding this way towards the nose. And my thumb, it's a little face, right? My thumb is right in the joint, digging into this muscle right here. And the space between the two bones, the temporal bone and the, the mandible. And then this, I'm gliding like this. Then on the right, I went in from lateral to medial and I'm pushing back kind of towards the center, towards the mouth. So this one was going, in my case, right to left or lateral to medial, straight across. And this one was gliding forward, which was creating like a, like a torque to unwind it. So forward and across. Hurts just doing it to myself. And she just let me do it for a long, long, long time. But you have to understand, I haven't been able to get on that jaw in eight months. So I, that was exciting for me. Um, we're going to check some other things, but it seems like that's the main thing today. We'll look at a couple of other little pieces. I want to see what that front leg, left leg looks like. I just want to come down the back, see if I'm missing anything. Uh, come down to the pelvis. But sometimes you have to stop. You go, okay, that's enough today. 
and that's the end of the visit. Um, it's not about doing as much as you can, it's about making a shift. And you know, and she's in a good little space right now. Look at, she's okay. But now that you're holding her, I'm gonna look mm -hmm. at the front left leg. Okay. I mean, the leg is in, you know, the, the leg is not a problem. The, when you see her leg go crazy out to the left and unstable, that's coming from the brain. That's her, her, she doesn't have a bad shoulder that if I could only just adjust it one more time, then she'll walk straight. Um, she also does it to stabilize herself. So when she's upwards or standing upright, you'll actually see her kind of splay out. Mm -hmm. She does the same thing like when she's peeing outside or when she's pooping outside. She'll use that one leg to kind of stabilize her, almost like a kickstand yeah. on a bike. Perfect description. Yeah. Perfect description. So let me come down. That's exactly true. I think of, um, you know, people that do a lot of uh, hiking out in the wilderness, they have those uh, ski poles that they use. And if you're about to fall, you put one down. And she does, mm -hmm. you know, that. And I, But the kickstand one is great. I like that. So I'm going to come down and check the neck. The neck is fine today. And coming down the back, I'm going to reach under your arm. And I'm just feeling down the spine. And maybe a little bit here. That's it. Got it. Let's check the dug tug. All right. And I'm under here, and this is the spot that helps her uh, reflux. And again, she lets me go right into these spots. Do you see her little face? So I'm putting pressure uh, in the upper abdomen, just slightly left of center. I'm just going to hold this for a second. And this is probably a good release. If you look at the first video, you'll see she couldn't even drop her leg. Her left leg used to be sucked up into like, her. Yeah you know, in spasm and contract it up into a rib cage. So now I'm going to really pull on this dug tug. I named this one after myself <laughs> because I'm that type of guy. No, it's mostly because I always <laughs> was amazed that all these doctors name these techniques after themselves. So the one I get stuck with is one I named after myself for this little reflux move. It's not that big a deal. It's mostly a joke to make Nugget laugh. <laughs> All right, so now I'm going to pull on this. Here's the tug part of the dug. I'm dug, and here's the tug. That's it. I just pull down on it. And what do you think of that, Nugs? Look at Nugs over my shoulder. She's just relaxing. She likes the dug tug. And we're going to finish up on this. Any last words about this? I think that's it. I think, yeah. you know, thanks for watching. We're, you know, we love the comments. Nugget re reads every single one of them and she tries to respond. Yes. So, you know, if you have something to say. Um, oh, you know what? The last thing we forgot to talk about was what? CBD. Okay, so what happened with that? Yes, yeah, so a lot of you were saying would Nugget benefit from CBD. So she started it and we did start it. Um, and she gets some CBD treats um, every morning and every evening. Um, I have to be honest though, I'm not no sure that I see a huge difference in it, but mm -hmm. you know, we're willing to try anything that's gonna help her. And okay. so, you know, we're just gonna continue that. She's been on for probably about the last three weeks. Okay, good. Bye Nugget, Nugget anything you wanna say? Any last words? How about, thanks for watching. Say that. Say thanks for watching. Come on, say it. All right, thanks. Everybody, uh, please send your love through the comments to Nugget. Nugget really needs constant love. Right? That's what you feed off of. All right. Thank you. Thank you.